For a definition of locus, the path travelled by a point under given certain geometrical condition is called the locus. A relation between x and y, when the point P x comma y moves, is called the equation of the locus of the point P x comma y. Depending upon the given condition, we are going to get an equation and simplify that equation using distance formula. So you will get the required equation of the locus of a point. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of basic mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Mathematics, Vidashtam PU College, the Temple of Excellence. Today in this session, I am going to discuss the next chapter that is chapter number 16, locus and its equation. What is a locus and the different equations of the locus of a given point. Now, let us right away move to the concept. So here, let us know regarding what is the definition of a locus. Now. So, analytical geometry is to express the plane curve in terms of algebraic equation called the equation of the curve. Suppose, if we express the plane curve in terms of algebraic equation. So, if the plane curves are expressed in terms of algebraic equation, then they are called as the curve. That is, they are called as the equation of the curve. The curve as the path traveled by moving a point under a given geometrical condition is known as the locus of a point. So, for a definition of locus, the path traveled by a point under given certain geometrical condition is called the locus. Now, let us consider for example, the path traced by a point which moves such that the distance from the fixed point is always the same curve is called as the circle. Now, you might have been studied, if this is a circle, in a circle, this is the center, the distance from this center to the point O P or this distance is a constant. So, the constant distance is called the radius and this fixed point is called the center of the circle. So, that is the path traveled by a point which moves such that the distance from the fixed point is always the same is a curve called as the circle. Now, the locus of a point which moves so that it is equidistance from the two fixed point is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the fixed point. Suppose if this is a line AB, if any point P divides AB, so locus of the point which moves so that it is equidistance from the two points. So if PA and PB are equal, equidistance from the two points is the perpendicular bisector. This is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the two points. Now, let us know regarding one more point. A relation between x and y when the point P x comma y moves is called the equation of the locus of the point P x comma y. So, a relation between x and y when the point P x comma y moves is called the equation of the locus of the point P x comma y. Now, equation of the locus. Now, let us take an example. Find the equation of the locus of a point which moves so that, what is the condition given? A distance from 1 comma 2 is 3. So, just find the equation of the locus of a point from 1 comma 2 whose distance is 3. Let, let us consider let p x comma y be any point, be any point on the locus. So, P x comma y be any point on the locus. Its distance from, so this is the point P x comma y. The distance from P to A, A is 1 comma 2 is 3. That is the distance from P to A is equal to 3. Then we have to find the equation. So, the given condition is given that the distance P A is equal to 3. Now, so we can also write P A whole square is equal to 3 square squaring on both sides. Now, just use distance formula for this. What is P A from this? P A is equal to root of distance formula x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole the square. The distance from P to A. P A is equal to root of x1 minus x2 whole square. What is x1 minus x2? x minus 1 whole square plus y1 minus y2 that is y minus 2 whole square 
is equal to 3 square is 9 square, square root gets cancelled. You can apply a minus b whole square and simplify, you will get the equation of the line, that is it. Now, that is a minus b whole square, a square plus b square minus 2ab, again a square plus b square minus 2 twos of 4y minus 9 is equal to 0. Simplify this, what you will get? x square plus y square x square plus y square minus 2x again minus 4y then constant terms 1 plus 4 is 5 5 minus 9 5 minus 9 is minus 4 is equal to 0. So x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y minus 4 is equal to 0 is the e required equation of the line that is it. Let us consider let p x comma y be any point on the locus. What is given? Another point A, 1 comma 2, the distance from P to A is given that is equal to 3. Squaring on both sides, P A square is equal to 3 square is 9 means the distance P to A is nothing but the distance from A to B. Using distance formula, root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square, we will get x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square is equal to 9, square square root gets cancelled, A square plus B square minus 2AB, again A square plus B square minus 2AB minus 9 is equal to 0, put it in order, x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 minus 9 is minus 4 is equal to 0, this is a required equation of the line, that is it, hope you follow. Now, more to a similar type problem, find the equation of the locus of a point which moves such that the distance from the coordinate axis which is the, which is in the ratio 5 is to 3. So, the ratio is given, what is given? its distance from the coordinate axis that is in the ratio 5 is to 3. Now, what is given? Just we know the distance from distance from x axis is equal to y. Distance from x axis is y. Similarly, distance from y axis is equal to x. So, the distance from x axis is y and the distance from y axis is x, right. Now, what is given? Its distance from the coordinate axis which is in the ratio 5 is to 3, ratio. So, the given ratio is 5 is to 3. So, ratio is 5 is to 3. That means y is to x given, given that y is to x is equal to 5 is to 3. This is the given condition, that is it. Simply we will get the answer. Now, what is this equal to? This can be written as y by x is equal to 5 by 3 cross multiply 3y is equal to 5x that is it. So, put it in order therefore, we can write the equation 5x is equal to 3y is a required equation of the line that is it. See here the distance from x axis is y and the distance from y axis is x. So, given y is to x is equal to 5 is to 3 therefore, y by x is equal to 5 by 3 cross multiply 3y is equal to 5x or 5x is equal to 3y is the required equation of the locus which is in the ratio 5 is to 3 with the coordinate axis. Now, move on to the next problem. Find the equation of the locus of the point which moves such that what is the condition? The sum of its distance from the coordinate axis is 5. The sum of the distance from its coordinate axis is 5. Now, let us consider let p x comma y be any point on the locus. Let p x comma y be any point on the locus, right. Same as under the previous problem, the distance, distance from x axis is equal to y. Similarly, the distance from y axis is equal to x. So, the distance from x axis and y axis are y and x. So, what is given? Given that, given the distance from the coordinate axis is 5 that is x plus y is equal to 5 that is all. So, this is the required equation of the line that is it, okay. Very simple for 2 marks. Now, move on to the next problem. Find the equation of the locus of a point which moves such that the square of its distance from 2 comma 3 is 3. So, same as that of the first problem, let us consider let p x comma y be any point on the locus, be any point on the locus, 
let p x comma y be any point on the locus. Now, so what is given here? Given that, given that the square of its distance, that is p a square is equal to 3. p a square is equal to 3, right. So, this p a, you know what is p a? This is p x comma y and a x, what is given a 2 comma 3? This is x1, y1 and x2, y2. So, using distance formula, simplify this, you will get the answer, right. Now, using distance formula, this is root of x minus x1 is 2 whole square plus y minus y1, y1 is 3 whole square, whole square is equal to 3. So here, square, square and gets cancelled. Now, simplify a square plus b square minus 2ab minus 4x. Again, a square plus b square minus 3 to the 6y is equal to 3. Transfer this to the left hand side. x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 4 plus 9. 4 plus 9 is 13. 13 minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, the required equation is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y, yes, plus 13 minus 3 is plus 10 is equal to 0, which is the required equation of the line. That is it, okay, right. See, very simple problem. Let p x comma y be any point on the locus given that the square of its distance from 2 comma 3 is 3, p a square is equal to 3. So, p a is nothing but the distance from x comma y to 2 comma 3 using distance formula x minus x 1 whole square x minus 2 whole square plus y minus y 1 y minus 3 whole square is equal to 3 square square root gets cancelled a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2 ab again a minus b whole square y square plus 3 square is 9 minus 2 ab 3 to the 6 y minus 3 is equal to 0 x square plus y square minus 4 x minus 6 y 13 minus 3 is plus 3 plus 10 is equal to 0 is the required answer, right. Okay. Now, move on to the next problem. Find the equation of the locus of a point which moves such that the sum of the squares of its distance, sum of the squares of its distances from the coordinate axis is 2. Sum of the distances from the coordinate axis is 2, okay. Same as that of the previous problem. Now, let us write, let us consider, let p x comma y be any point be any point on the locus, any point on the locus. Now, what is given right on the distance, the distance from distance from x axis, as you know the distance from x axis is y, similarly distance from distance from y axis is equal to x. So, the distance from x axis is y and y axis is x. What is given? The sum of the squares of its distance from the coordinate axis. Sum of the squares. So, given sum of the squares of its distance is nothing but x square plus y square is equal to 2. That is it. Sum of the squares of its distance. Sum of the squares of x square plus y square is equal to 2. So, x square plus y square is equal to 2 is the equation of the locus. Very simple for 2 more. Now, move on to the next problem. Find the equation of the locus of a point which moves such that its distance from the point minus 4 comma 0 is 4 times its distance from 0 comma minus 2, right. Now, same as that of the previous, let us consider, let p x comma y be any point, be any point on the locus. Given, what is given? Given that the distance from the point p to a, now here, this is p x comma y, Right. Another point, this is A and this is B. So, here what is A? A is equal to minus 4 comma 0 and B, B is equal to 0 comma minus 2. What is given? The distance from the point P A, P A is equal to 4 times the distance from B. So, given P A is equal to 4 times P B. Simplify, you will get the answer. Now, what is this P A? P A is equal to square root of distance formula x minus of minus is x plus 4 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is equal to 4 into square root of pb x minus 0 whole square plus y minus into minus plus 2 whole square. Now, this can be written as square root of x plus 4 whole the square 
plus y minus 0 whole square is y square is equal to 4 into square root of x minus 0 whole square is x square plus y plus 2 for the square, right. Now, squaring on both sides and simplify, you will get the answer. That is it. Now, squaring on both sides, what happens here? x plus 4 whole square plus y square is equal to square 4 square is 16 into again square square root gets cancelled x square plus y plus 2 whole the square. Simplify this that is it. So, this is a square plus b square a square x square plus b square 4 square is 16 plus 2 into 4 is 8 x plus y square is equal to 16 into simplify this. This is x square as it is. Now, plus a plus b whole square a square y square plus 2 square is 4 plus 2 to the 4 y. Now, this is x square plus 16 plus 8 x plus y square is equal to multiply by 16. So, 16 x square plus 16 y square 16 into 4 64 plus 16 into 4 is 64 y. Now, transfer this to the left hand side 16 x square plus 16 y square plus 64 plus 64 y minus x square then minus 16 minus 8 x minus y square is equal to 0. Now, cancel the terms which gets cancelled. Now, your 16 x square minus x square is 15 times x square plus 16 y square minus y square is 15 times y square. Now, equal the terms containing x terms. What are the x terms we have here? Minus 8 x, only one term minus 8 x and the y terms, y terms are plus 64 y, 64 y. So, x square plus y square x and y. So, and what are the constants? 64 and minus 16, 64 plus 64 minus 16. So, 14 minus 6, 14 minus 6 is 8, 5 minus 1 is 4, 48 plus 48 plus 48 is equal to 0 is the required equation of the locus, that is it. So, simplify this, see here a plus b whole square plus y square, again 16 as it is, x square into a plus b whole square multiply by 16, transfer all the terms to right hand side, then 16 x square minus x square is 15 x square, 16 y square minus y square is 15 y square. Again, x terms minus 8x and y terms plus 64y, then plus 64 minus 16. 64 minus 16 is plus 48. So, therefore, the required equation of the locus is 15x square plus 15y square minus 8x plus 64y plus 48. 15x square plus 15y square minus 8x plus 64 times y plus 48 is equal to 0. This is the answer. Very important problem for a 4 boss. Hence, the required answer for this. So, the distance from the point minus 4 comma 0 is 4 times is distance from the point 0 comma minus 2 means we have to make use of this equation. P A is equal to 4 times P B. Of squaring on both sides and simplify, you will get the equation in the forum. That is 15 x square plus 15 y square minus 8 x plus 64 y plus 48 is equal to 0. So, these are few types of problems based on the given condition. So, depending upon the given condition, we are going to get an equation and simplify that equation using distance formula. So, you will get the required equation of the locus of a point. Hope you followed. That is all regarding uh, today's session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.